I'm a recording. Hi, my name is Jose and this is my part of the channel. A couple of videos ago, I was supposed to introduce myself and my pets, but I kind of forgot to introduce myself because my pets are the superior beings in this part of the channel. Um, I have four pets. I have two geckos and two dogs. And I felt that my first couple of videos, it would be fun to introduce my pets a bit more in depth. This video, I really want to introduce Godzilla. Godzilla is my garden video and I will go get him right now. And that is going to be a hassle. I've had him for over a year. I got him from a breeder and they were super well taken care of. They showed me his parents and his siblings and it was just very endearing all around. They said that they'd hand fed him his entire life, like they'd feed, fed him with like syringes and stuff. And he did look very healthy. He was a lot smaller than what he is now. He has grown a lot. But when he got home, he was extremely jumpy and he's stayed that way for a year and a half. But it's very funny because sometimes I'll get my friends here and I'll be like, hi, these are my pets. And I'll try to hold him and he'll just jump and I'll have to like dive into the floor to make sure he doesn't get hurt. I've tried handling him, I've tried doing everything possible to get him to like love me and like he calms down after a bit, you see? Like he, he's he's pretty chill, like I can trust him after a bit. I've tried uh, ho like coaxing him with food. He doesn't even eat worms. He will only eat certain types of gecko food. Like I've tried so many different things. I've tried all the flavors Pangea has to offer and the only two he will eat are the figs and the watermelon. He, he isn't this color, he is darker than this, but he was sleeping, he's toned down, which is why he is in a more kind of white colorish face. A couple of months ago, I went to the vet. I was like, hi, I think he's very small. Would you mind giving me some intake on this? And he was like, yes, he is very small. Apparently, that had to do a lot with the breeder that I got him from. All of their geckos were just like, they're very healthy. They're just kind of small. That was completely fine by me. I tried feeding him meds. He'd croak, of course, but he never tried to... I mean, of course he tried to run away, but he never tried to bite, and I feel like that's good enough for me. It was really shocking. He did grow a lot. I wanted to jump. So I was told by my vet that he is maybe a bit too jumpy and kind of neurotic, but that's okay. So if you look at him here... I don't really know a lot about geckomorphs. I mean gargoyle geckomorphs. But he looks like a normal to me. He has some red on his back, as you can tell. I hope you can tell. He gets a lot darker when he's more awake. He's a sweetheart and he has some cute little like red on his ears. Oh, and also he's a male. You can see by the little bulge he has right there. How can you not love these guys? He's just staring into the camera. But that's about it for him. He's just really cute. But yes, this is Godzilla, my leopard gecko. Wait, yes, this is Godzilla, my god, my, my gargoyle gecko. Hello, it is I. I was editing this and I realized I didn't say goodbye. So, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed my first video. And I'll see you on the next one.